Hello everyone, Pally Tom here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Our party is joining us just outside of the Goblin Camp yet again. I promised you guys I'd show you a new fight at the beginning of this episode, one that we did not do in our previous playthrough. And I still intend on doing that, but first I have to um, steal back a necklace that I sold to this goblin over here. You see, Gale has this condition where he has to absorb the weave from magical items. And unfortunately, he wants to take every item I have equipped right now. The necklace we got from an earlier quest would work for that, but I already sold it to a goblin, which means we need to get it back. I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion in the corner, try to get most of these goblins to run off in that direction. While they're doing that, Asterion sneaks up behind the vendor. And we are going to take this locket back. <laughs> what do we need to roll? Target is five, we can steal that all day. We rolled a 17, how much would I need? Oh, that's not good. Target roll is 17 to take all of that gold. What if I only took some of it? Well, either way, we got what we were after. Now we're going to use the rest of our turn just to move as far away from that area as possible. Turn off turn base mode and run right on out of this city. He'll notice something's missing in just a moment, but we are not close enough for him to find us. Now, I don't... Uh, I didn't do very much stealing in our first playthrough, so I don't think I'm particularly good at it yet. But... Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. He doesn't like hanging out with goblins. Uh, I think I have a magical artifact that you might be interested in, Gale. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? You may take the locket. Yeah, everything else I have equipped. That's our weapon from the general. That's the haste helmet. I can't get rid of any of this other stuff. But Such you can have that locket. Oh, look at the glow. That's pretty cool. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition doesn't sound very fun. For any of us, in fact. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Oh, spring cleaning. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. <laughs> this condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Oh, I tried to go to camp and end the day, but it looks like Clark is not feeling too well. What's the matter, bud? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. I'm just going to try to rub my aching hands. After all of that punching we've done, I imagine they would be hurting. The ache builds as you squeeze your hands together. Were your fingers always so thick? Your skin always so sticky. Chukil Gake Vlaketh Mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. Please, all my hands just hurt. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. Oh no, she thinks we're transforming. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. I also imagine that there'd be a lot of anxiety there. Lazelle's only doing this because she's afraid of what we're becoming. Um, I could use the Illithid. I don't think I want to. I have a pretty good role in medicine. It's just a fever. Rest will break it, Lazel. Rest will break it. Will you believe me? With advantage, we need to roll a 10. Ooh, we got it. 
Wow, two eights. Look at that. Thank goodness we had the plus three. I know you're scared, Lazel. It's okay. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Well, that's pretty reassuring. I didn't even have to use food to go to sleep. Oh, of course. This is a very vivid dream, isn't it? And that looks like a healing spell if I've ever I seen one. Time. You are transforming. Was that a vision from the Nautiloid? So I've seen you before. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. Hey, good catch. And I'm here to save you again. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Well, I mean, I'm definitely going to be safe with more Githyanki around. I'm going to take the hand that's offered to me. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it, nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we were pushed out to safety. That was a big explosion. I promise. Very curious. I think we'll learn more about that dream in the future. Back inside of the Druid Grove. The fight we are about to do is just around the corner to the east here. All of the times I played through act one and I never even realized that that path was even there. However, another thing I didn't realize until very recently, there's a vendor in town that won't be here forever. So I'm gonna make sure that we speak to them before they leave. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. <laughs> it's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! Hi. You look more green than yellow petal. Are your heart cold, feverish? Why does everyone keep yeah, saying out. I'm, I'm supposed to be yellow? Potions galore. You have lots of potions? Oh, that's awesome. Well, let her fuss over me a little bit more. We're just gonna let Clark soak that in. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. I don't... Wait, I just said let her talk to me more. What is this exactly? 
Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. Oh. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Well, I'm fine. Just, uh, it's been a difficult day. Oh, stop. Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Yeah, I agree, actually. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. In fact, I do. What's the harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. Now... She is a proprietor of the Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Something I'm going to need a lot of. I'm just going to go ahead and buy those right now. It's going to be 234 gold. That's half of my gold, but I'm going to need those. So we'll go ahead and barter. Thank you very much. What's the staff? No bonus damage. <gasps> you gain a plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. That's very good. That's very good. Potion of invisibility, that could be good as well. I think for now we are good. Thank you, Auntie Ethel. What a lovely vendor you are. Thank you so much. Take care now, sweetie. You too. You too. Take care. <clears throat> the party moves away. Uh, Asterion, after seeing Clark take all of her supply of uh, strength elixirs, spots one more on the table. And thinks, you know what my new friend might want? Another strength elixir. But how are we going to take this one? Minor illusion? What's that over there? You better go look at it quickly. Hold on, we're going to cast that one more time. Yes, all turning away from me. Very good. Her base. Grab it. We're sneaking, right? This is a sneak? Good. Got it, okay. And then we're just gonna go this way. We're gonna bonus action dash. And just make our way right around this corner. Auntie Ethel's way over there. We're totally fine. In fact, I think she's leaving town right now. <laughs> she's like, all right, I made one sale. That's good enough. We'll see her again very soon. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Now for that fight I promised you guys about. I'm gonna head over there right now. So past the bear guards, and then we're gonna go east. There's also a bard over here. <laughs> we, we met her in our previous playthrough, but it didn't go particularly well. Let me send Asterion up there. See what she has to say. Dance upon the stars tonight smile and pain will fade away is she missing Words of mine will change what become <sighs> yeah you're looking at a talking loot yeah that's weird that would leave Words of mine much better will... this song will be the death of me <laughs> Uh, what did that poor instrument ever do to you? You're butchering it. Or would Asterion just give her the lyric? I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth on this. I feel like he would say you're butchering it in a very charming way, but we're going to try to be nice. Words of mine will turn to ash. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the light down well continue singing uh, moon reminds me of your grace moon reminds me of your grace all the love I can't repay rest and know that I will pray farewell my dear old friend wait that's it you sure?
Look at Gail smiling. Clark's a fan too. All right, that was pretty nice. All right, I was kind of hating a little bit. That was pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. Of course, darling. You're welcome. Just keep at it. It's been so long since I... Since... Sorry. Damn it. Mm. What's the matter? I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. You've come up with a very fine tribute for her. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. The sound, the feel, the thrill. But when she died, it was gone. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch in my fingers to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I... I needed this. You're very welcome. Quick save was successful. I didn't quick save. I didn't quick save anywhere. Now, unless I am mistaken, there's also a chest nearby here. It does need to be unlocked, but for some reason I can't right click on it there. I can't even pick it up. Okay, can anyone else interact with it? Oh, he's he's bugged. It's like I'm it's like I'm still in dialogue. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pick it up. And hope that this bug does not persist. And I'm going to move this way. Probably quick save, quick load. That usually fixes it. Oh, I didn't realize my staff was actually on fire. I just knew it did fire damage. That looks so cool. Quick save, quick load. Fix the problem immediately. Asterion's going to walk up to the chest and try to open the lock. I, I know. You got to lockpick it. You got to lockpick it, my dude. It's going to be a 10 to get it open. We almost have a 10 with just passive bonuses. It's a little hyperbole, but not too much. 
Uh, as we pop this bad boy open, inside we see the cap of curing. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, they also regain one to six hit points. The cool thing is Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. So I can even heal someone or attack, give them Bardic Inspiration and heal them at the same time. I also think that's just going to look so good on Asterion's head. Look at him. Now, as we continue into the mountain range, we still hear singing out by the water. But it's clearly not the singing that we just heard inside of the town. We're going to try to get closer and investigate this. So uh, we're going to leave Astarian and Gale kind of up here on the high ground as Lazel and Clark go to investigate. Spread our party out like that a little bit. Hey, kid, what's up? Shh, listen. Mm, okay, quietly listen. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm going to call on my monk wisdom to struggle against the music's pool. We've heard of sirens before, pulling people into the water, making sailors jump off of their ships so that they will be ripped apart by these creatures. We're going to struggle against the pool for now. Oh, uh, we only need five. Okay, that should be super easy. Oh, God. Oh, even with the two, we would have gotten it, just to be clear. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. But what about the kid? Get back, it's a trick! No, no, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Oh, that's not the siren I had in mind. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have an action or anything we could do to be like, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that, kid. Don't do that. Uh, Astarian is currently lured. Lazelle is currently lured. Gale is currently lured. And also in the water for some reason. Oh, shoot. Oh, everyone is currently lured. We all did not pass this check. Gale gets hit for 12 damage to the back. Oh, God. Lazel is definitely in range now. Is she going to break the hole? No, no. Gale's running into... Oh, God. Uh, we passed the check. But I am the least equipped person for this task, I am afraid. Uh, I could use an action to get me closer to this conflict. I don't have a ranged weapon. I guess I'm going to have to do that. We could also do Firebolt. A 65% chance to land might break the song. I guess I'm going to try it. Concentration did save. Uh, shit. How far can I jump? I'm just going to move up move up in the water with whatever movement I have left next turn I'm going to try to jump up to the high ground I wish I could have done more with that I wasn't expecting my entire party to be taken over by this Asterion has a friend coming in the claws do not connect uh, where's the kid going ooh the kid's deep in the water now but the lure has stopped he's snapping out of it momentarily what do you think my chance of pushing this guy is? Only 45%. That's not super great. We do have Lazel back in action as well. So we don't need to do a crazy amount here. I was thinking maybe trying to land a fairy fire, but unfortunately my team was brought into the thick of that. Uh, I'm going to try to do Dissonant Whispers. 60% chance to hit. Uh, we will make it hit with Cutting Words. Perfect. Unfortunately, they are not afraid. I am going to try the push, although it looks like whatever angle I try to do this at is going to be blocked by the tree. So that push isn't even going to do anything. I end my turn. The next of the Harpies moves towards Gale. Already hit him for 12 damage. He doesn't have much health left, and that's going to be a kill. Why couldn't I use shield as an action there? 
It's one of his prepared spells. I'm almost certain. Yep. When you are about to be hit by an enemy, increase your armor class by five. Wouldn't that have been nice, Gale? Wouldn't, wouldn't that have been great to have right there? Well, we'll try to snap him out of it as soon as we get this situation under control. We are going to just move up. We're just going to move up and swing with our staff, dealing 15 damage. We're then going to do a toppling attack. I should have done this first. It doesn't matter. The target is dead. With the rest of our movement, I'm going to try to get closer to the one up top, but it's telling me I can't get there. Let's see if Lazel can. She's going to approach the creature. Swing for 14 damage. Not breaking the concentration. I am going to action surge for this, and we're going to swing one more time. Uh, please. Thank you. Unfortunately, that swing does miss. Gale's still on the ground. We're going to end our turns and see how this goes. The song continues. Asterion is going to get attacked. Our cutting words aren't going to stop that. He takes 11 damage, and then the harpies fly to protect the one singing. The kid still getting closer and closer to the target. I don't like that, kid. You got to really stop doing that. We are going to try a ranged attack on the main one scene. It says I have disadvantage. We're going to try it anyway. The shot lands for eight damage. That's enough to take the target down. And then we have some sweet, sweet silence. I'm going to give some bardic inspiration to my friend down there. That's also going to heal him and get him back up on his feet. Uh, we see one of the harpies moving towards the beach where we started at. Man, these guys have insane movement. And we see another song. Being, being spouted over there. They're trying to kite me back and forth. I do not like that. Uh, we're going to hit the harpy as hard as we can. Beautiful. We're not going to have an action on Gale, so let's just try to move back over here to the high ground if we can. Looks like he's just short of reaching it. Uh, Lazelle did her job. Now we're going to see if Clark can finish it. He moves in and with his staff hits for 12 damage. Uh, it's not going to be the easiest thing to get back, but I'm going to jump on this rock and we'll try to make our way over. This actually bought us a lot of time because the poor kid has to move through a lot of difficult terrain in order to get back. Uh, we are now going to fire off another ranged attack from the high ground. 75% chance to hit. We do connect for 11. However, the song persists. She concentrated even through that damage. Luckily, they're not attacking. I mean, singing's not that bad. We're going to cast Githyanki Jump on Lazel. She's then going to Githyanki Jump all the way over there. And that's going to be her entire turn. Gale could send off a Fireball. Firebolt, excuse me. 65% chance to connect. It does not. But he's just going to try to get to the high ground from there. We want him out of the water if we can do it. Arcane recovery charts. Okay, cool. So we're going to be able to get back some of our spell slots throughout the day. I was wondering what the symbol was. Uh, now on Clark's turn, not enough movement, it's saying. I could also get the Anki jump, but that would be my entire turn. I think that might be my only option, though. We could try the wind dash, but that's a lot of water. I don't know if I can get through it. It looks like just just like inches short from being able to reach the target. I'm going to stop before we get too close and then cast a Firebolt of my own, which is going to do nine damage to the back of this creature. No, 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 no. Don't dash. Do not dash, kid. Do not dash. Do not dash. That's bad. That's bad. Asterion, do something. Uh, dissonant Whispers. Okay, kid's fine. <laughs> Are they gone? They're gone, bud. They're gone. You all right? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Well, take a deep breath. Deep and slow. You're safe now. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mom will be so mad. <sighs> Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find sure. a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Will do. Now I'm a little unclear on whether or not I get the quest quest reward I want from this quest or from another one in the future. Gail, why do you want to talk? You don't need more magic already. I just gave you a thing. I swear to God, if you need more magic, I'm gonna push you off this cliff. 
That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. You're so bruised, and we just got up. Somehow I can imagine you as a handful. Comes with the territory. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. <laughs> it's funny well, that he's looking at his nail voice. That depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Oh, well. Such as? There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. Yeah, I'm glad we saved him too. I think there might be a chest around here somewhere too. Quick pan around. Oh, there is a nest. I gotta see what's in that nest. Oh, and I was right. There is a chest just on the other side of where the harpies were trying to lure us to. I have a fun fact about harpies in World of Warcraft. I doubt it applies to D&D &D as well. Let me know in the comments. I genuinely don't know. But in WoW, the harpies are always in areas where they have these nests hanging in trees. And the lore in that game, in that universe, is that those nests are full of people that the harpies have kidnapped and they have impregnated those bodies that they have in the nest with their young inside of their belly. The and they're incubating, incubating those kids inside of these kidnapped humans. That's so terrifying. Holy crap. Well, we make our way over to the wooden chest. Inside, we get 44 coins. Look at that. We casted Githyanki Jump earlier in that combat encounter. And uh, this was one of the reasons I wanted to be a Githyanki. If we use the sw Swersey Shoes, I still don't know if I'm saying that right, that gives us an extra five feet of jumping. However, when we do get the Anki Psionic Jump, we triple our jump distance. By default, I don't know what our jump distance is. 20 feet. So 20 feet, add five, and then triple it is what we're getting. <laughs> that just sounded fun. I thought I thought that would be really enjoyable. I think jumping is super satisfying. So let's see if we can position our camera in a way that we can actually get up there. So I could jump all the way from the ground and then all the way from here with absolute ease. Miram, I'm sorry it's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First of all, good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her back in full. I'm sorry she should have never gotten your name in the first place. Now for the bad news. My love, I'm not coming home. Not for a while, at least. The money came from a mercenary group, probably the best. I don't give you their name. And I've agreed to do a couple jobs in the Icewing Dale in return. They paid me up front because, God, it's so strange to write it. Because they needed a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal, the Cambion offered. I'm not going to say I had no choice because that would be a lie. But I don't regret it. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life. Aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur, he likes to drop by to see how everything's going. I have no complaints. If you don't reply to this letter, I understand. And if you don't want me to come back at all, well, I understand that too. I love you, Miriam. And I want you to be happy. Even if it's not with me. Signed, Edmund. And it looks like that n that letter never made it to the destination. Or if it did, that person was now in the belly of a beast. Could at least make a run Back inside the Druid Grove, this is Donnie, the kid who the other kid told us to come talk to. We were told to say that we want to see the dragon's he lair. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Hey, in the future, I might be both. Um, I want to see the dragon's lair. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, 
as if it hurts to look at you. Huh. Don't know how to feel about that. Where is the hatch? Oh. You know, I was wondering if I would be able to go into this place. I found another way in once, but you had to be a smaller race in order to fit through, like a gnome or a halfling. Which is how all these kids were getting in here with no parental supervision in the first place, I think. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Well, I'm happy to help. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Why'd you say that's so condescending? Uh, what are you guys doing in this cave? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. Oh, I, I thought you might need help with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting Oh, at. yeah, dude. Yeah. I could help you get it. Uh, but my time is very valuable. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. You sell it in the city. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I mean, she just said sell it. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's going to get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's got to be worth a small fortune. Hey, Mo, what do you have for sale? Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark, but they're vicious. Anything else? So, I said I was unclear about what I needed to do to get an item I wanted. I have to do this quest. We've already tried to steal the idol in front of everybody, and I could not adequately distract them. So, that means my objective is very clear. Over the course of the next, I might be able to do it in one episode if we hurry. Uh, I'm going to steal the idol of Sylvanas. If that sounds interesting to you, then check back next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing something new or at least something we didn't see the first time through. There's plenty more of that to come. It's kind of ridiculous how big this game is. We'll be back again very soon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you again next time.